All right, guys, I'm here at the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas, getting ready to do some underwater welding. I'm excited. I hope y'all are. Let's get to it. How y'all doing over here? Hi. Yeah. Ocean I'm here to see Richard. Richard? What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Abraham. All right, thanks for coming on out. I'm here to do some underwater welding. All right, come on back. What's up guys, so today I'm very excited to let you know we are starting a series of commercial diving. It involves underwater welding, underwater inspection, and underwater rigging. But today, I'm going to be welding, so I'm very excited. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so right now, um, Chris is helping me put up my bailout bottle. Chris is actually one of the students there. Um, he's actually a senior student. He was very knowledgeable on everything, and he made sure I was safe. That's John over there, making sure that I stayed safe and that I didn't need anything. Putting on the helmet. And I'm going to say the helmet probably weighed around probably like 30 pounds. And when you go underwater, pretty much uh, you, go in, you go under slowly at first. So you make sure that you have no leaks in your hood and you just go down there. hardest thing about welding underwater is that uh, you can't really see your puddle there's a lot of things in your way well the only thing that gets in the way is the bubbles like while you're welding it was hard for me to see the puddle John got a really cool arc shot right here so the way it works when you're welding underwater there's a guy on the surface and it turns your power on and off with a knife switch when you're not welding the switch is off and when you're ready to strike your art, you say hot, and the guy you are communicating with, communicating with on top switches the switch on. And when I stop welding, I say cold, and he turns my power off. Right here, I'm welding these anodes to this plate. Anodes are pretty much the main things that are welded underwater. Uh, anodes attract all the corrosion and give the metal a longer life underwater. Uh, after some time, they have to be replaced with new anodes. This is what you weld 99% of the times underwater. If you're going to be welding underwater, you're going to be welding anodes. So right here I'm welding one of the clips on the anodes. So if I was to re-weld these anodes, I wouldn't go uphill, I would just go downhill. The stick electrode I was using was a 6013 and it was coated with this special uh, coating kept it dry. And like I said before, the hardest thing about welding underwater is your visibility. Um, the, those bubbles you see coming out of the weld or out of the puddle, they do get in your way, so it makes it extremely hard to see where you're going. Welding underwater is not too different than welding on the surface. But one main difference is that when you're welding underwater, you have to pretty much scrape the metal with your electrode as you weld to keep your arc on, or else it will turn off. So this is my last bead I threw down, and as you can see, it came out pretty good. I was not satisfied with none of my last beads because they all look like crap. But luckily my last beat was on point and I was able to go home with a smile and some confidence. All right guys, we're there I have it, underwater welding. It was a heck of an experience for me. I felt like I was learning how to weld all over again. But hey, sometimes you gotta try new things. If you like what you saw, don't forget to check out the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Till next time.